Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones mod. We are back with a new series and we're going to be playing in uh, one of the bookmarks that was added later on uh, to the additional bookmarks that go with Game of Thrones uh, mod. It's the uh, Andal Invasion, Valerian Freehold, Roynish Wars, and the uh, Century of Blood. And they added another one called the, the Giscari Wars. But we're not going to be playing in the Giscari Wars. It does look pretty appealing though to... Maybe you want to do one day because they actually have uh, the kingdom of Yerkun in here, which is like all uh, they're all together in in one big kingdom, which is pretty cool. It's supposed to be like a, a old uh, culture or whatever, whatever, like warriors, um, patri patrimony. I don't know how that works with inheritance, uh, agnotic seniority. So yeah, we got all of Yt. Um, you have the main uh, thing around it is the, the Valerian Freehold are in a war with Giscar. Now, this whole area was uh, united under this one like emperor. And then you had uh, the kingdoms over here that ended up becoming, uh, I guess, free, what you would call like almost like a free city under Valeria after one war. And then they completely wiped them out. And then they made new Gis on these little islands down here. But we're not going to be playing there. Um, I just think it's too overpowering with the dragons. If you're playing as them and if you're playing against them, you stand no chance with like a hundred dragons against you. So I looked at uh, Roinar too. There's a lot of cool little Roinar kingdoms over here. This is the one that uh, Nymeria comes from. But I wanted to go in Westeros because I kind of thought about doing a uh, Shattered Realm one. But this kind of does it for you in a way. Um, there's not many uh, things that are, you know... All this one, like the Reach and the Stormlands and the the Rock, are only three uh, like Empire tier titles that there are in Westeros, and they're not really big right now. The Reach is the biggest one by far. Uh, there's the kingdoms in the in Dorne, but uh, we're gonna play as the North. And I thought about what I wanted to play as uh, because right now the Starks don't have all the North. They really don't have much bigger uh, kingdom than like the Dreadforts are, is a lot bigger in land wise. Um, and the rills are about the same size. Uh, Wolfswood's not bad. And, uh, for some reason, I guess because Brandon gave this to the Night's Watch, the Win Winterfell has that little strip of land up there that's nowhere close to the rest of it. But, uh, yeah. So, what I wanted to play as is, uh, the Barrowlands. We're going to play as Barrow King Edric of the Barrowlands. And if you read up on, like, the history, uh, with the books and stuff in, uh, World of Ice and Fire, it talks about the Barrow Kings. And then being like the main descendants of uh, the first, like king of the first men. So if we look at like the Dustin's uh, house, and we get to the founder. So this is the first Dustin, but then he comes from this line of the Barrow Kings, which were like known as like the first kings, like even over like the gardeners and all that. And if you look at this guy here, his name, he's a uh, king of the first men. Like he has a house of land. I don't know if it's real or not. I don't remember if they talk about this person per se. But you see, this is the kingdom of the first men. I guess he's, you know, in their history in Barrowton and Barrowlands, this is like the first king of the first men. So they feel as though they have a better claim to not just the north, but first men in general being descendants of the Barrow kings. Now, in the history, the, uh, Starks of Winterfell ended up beating out the, the Barrow Kings, marrying her daughters, all that jazz. Then, uh, this was between them and the, and the Neck that I was going to play as, because you had the Marsh King, which is uh, the Starks beat them back and then took their daughters to wed. And it kind of, uh, it's almost like a, a thing in the, in the community that how the Starks got their ability to warg because of the, the Marsh, they were like called the Ward King or whatever. So, like, a lot of these, uh, <clears throat> Crodang men, or a lot of people think they're, like, a hybrid between the Children of the Forest and the First Men. So, it's kind of, people think that where the Starks got their ability. But anyways, we're not playing as them. Um, for one reason, I didn't know if there was anything about the Marsh, uh, the Mosby house or not. I don't know if that was, like, the Marsh King. Uh, I didn't really look into it, but we do have the Dustins. Everybody French knows the Dustins. Even if you're not... You know, you're just a show watcher. They don't really get mentioned in the book. There's a woman called Barbara Dustin that's a real asshole. She's kind of bitter because uh, 
she didn't get to marry um, Ned's older brother Brandon. He pretty much like one night stander and then just like left her. So, and then I guess she thought maybe she had a chance of marrying Ned and it didn't happen. So, besides all that, we're going to pretty much be in conflict with the Starks all the time. We're not going to ally with them. We're not going to help them. We're not going to marry into them, vice versa. Uh, we're gonna try to eat up some of these other p places here some of the smaller ones first like Flint's finger actually has a little less men than we do They're not that bad off for having you know land with no holdings in it uh, We actually have two holdings. I think we're like one of the only ones I think that they he has Etheran and the Dreadfort where Stark has Winterfell, but Winterfell can uh, bust out a lot of men so it's not that bad off. The neck is terrible. Having all that land. And they're like a thousand men. That was another uh, turn off. But uh, yeah. So. They actually had the reeds. Too. So that, I thought about doing that. And taking over Marsh King. But you know whatever. Um, But first thing we're going to need to do. Is pretty much try to get uh, an alliance or two. To our uh, family marrying them off. We do have a. Uh a brother that's 13 and i'm thinking about trying to find the best match for my heir like stats wise and then using the two brothers for alliances so first off we'll, we'll go with our uh son try to find so any uh genius first uh there's three band on that's down in the reach i think yeah, there. That's too far away. I mean, we don't really have to do it for a long, so I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, they're they're north. Where are they at? I know they're in the wolf's wood. I think. It's still woods. I oh, know they're right here. All right, so that's that girl. She's only a year older, so she'll do. Genius, and then him being quick, they have a good chance of uh. At least getting a quick or a genius. He's gonna lose a hundred prestige, it's not a big deal. Alright, we'll go with that. And then um I'll wait to do the other son and daughter. Daughter I don't wanna do right now because I don't have the money to pay off dowry. Uh, we don't really make much money right now. We're only making one point nine three. We're actually one of the higher starting out ones in the north. I was looking at uh the real start with eighty two, they start eighty three, they're eighty three. The neck has eighty one. Uh, I don't know what Flint's Finger starts as. 62. So we're, we're not that bad off as starting. Could be worse. Could be 62. Like, that extra 20 makes a big difference. Uh, let's see. Prince Joffrey. Now, this is what we're going to do for Alliance. Um, Cray Calls, I think, a piece about a bit. I mean, they're a little far away, but it's not that bad. The Red Wine. Does he have any other... She's 26. I mean, it's kind of old, but the thing is, he has a decent amount of men, and he has boats. So, him being far away doesn't really matter, because he can get up here. Um, nobody in the north really going to want to marry to us, because they're all pretty much on the thing of wanting to get more land in the north. So, we're probably going to get political concerns all around. Um, let's look at uh, Craig Hall. How many do they have? I mean, they're a little bit away, but I mean... What about the rains? I nearly have sons. I guess I could marry my daughter to him in a while. Not right now. He will go for it. They don't have any boats, but I mean, they're not that far away. Some of these other kings aren't going to probably want to do it either. Um, she's too high up in secession, so he's probably going to say no. What's this? That guy. Yeah. Mar matrilineal marriage political concerns so you know what? we need to find this is the big thing to do right now is get the alliance and so when we start going after people I'm trying to see somebody that's, that's close enough I'm thinking about just doing the red wall but it means 12 years older of us so but there's a lot of men that come with it at least for right now uh, the green fields usually have a decent amount but they're just as far away as the Cray Calls. What about the West Wings? They're all sons. It does have sisters. She's 16. Let me do that. They will do it. 
And they're not that far away. Like an extra 2,000 men. That might be okay. Um, what about these guys here? They're all boys. I wonder if he'd, uh, marry one of his sons. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of these people aren't gonna want to do it. So I think we're gonna go with, uh... It's a bit, it's a, I really want to take the red wine one, but I'm scared he's not going to want to use his ships to come up there. Sometimes that's a, that's a problem. They don't want to use the boats to get up there. Because they have to pay for them themselves. Um, Malister. She's old, man. What about her? She's 16. Come on, please say yes. Yes! He'll do it. Alright. We'll go with the Malisters. Malisters are close, and they have just as many men as Westerling does. So let's go with them. Uh, with the Joffrey, right? Yeah. Alright, we'll go with that. Hopefully he says yes. He doesn't like us too much right now. How much would it cost? Oh, we have to wait. I know I can look at it now. Um, 29 gold. It's not that bad if it comes with the lines. Um, let's see. Other boy. Hmm. More than Oak Heart. Real small, man. Kind of want to go with them because they're they're not attached to anybody. I'm pretty sure he's probably going to try to take them though. Here are the muds. We'll just wait for now with him. We'll come back to it. Let's make sure our council is what it is. Uh, Hand of the King kind of sucks. He's only in. Uh, a town person, so we don't have anybody else better. Is there anybody we can get? Let's put our religion. Definitely, and I'm not gonna go out of our religion with the old gods. I'm not gonna bring anybody with dragons over. So before you even ask me to do it, I'm not doing it. Dragons weren't here then, so we're not gonna bring them here now. Uh, this guy's 60. Man, I can't afford to be buying anybody right now. It'd really be uh, smart with the money right now. Uh, this dude isn't much better. You know what? I'll just stick with him, man. Oversee the realm. Unless he starts really, like, causing problems. Train children. Um, he has no combat prowess whatsoever. So that sucks. I guess we'll train troops to get more, uh, levy. We definitely need to have him collecting taxes. That put us up in this three more gold. Um, he's fine scheming. You're gonna perform charity, I guess. I don't have any revolt risks, so I don't, it's not that big of a deal. They don't really have to have him hunt subversives because there's no other, uh, religion around. Alright. Let's see what we're gonna do. We're military focused. I'm gonna try to get this up to at least skilled. So we're gonna go with war first. We are ambitious, so we'll be able to probably expand around by conquest. Yeah. I wonder if we should do that right away or not. How old's our wife? 20. Ooh, she's an advisor. Yeah, we gotta fire her. Let me see, is there... They both have positions. I guess it ain't a big deal right now. Um. Yeah, they're all fine. Um, let's see, we need designated region. We don't have any, uh... Try to think here. Probably put Hib. He probably has the most amount of troops next to us. Let's see, uh, 862. That's us. 849. Yeah, we'll make him, uh, the regent for now. Yeah. Uh, bodyguard wise, we don't really have any good fighters right now. Uh, wow, we see that Captain Household Guard. Oh, who else starts off with that? Alright, so they have it. They have it. What about the rules? Wow, we lucked out with that. It's 100 gold we don't have to worry about. I think it's just us, the Dreadfort and the Winterfell that have a uh, household guard. That's nice. It gives us an extra, uh, what is it? It gives us an extra 100 infantry, heavy infantry and cab. It takes away one tax income, but it's worth the trade-off. Alright, um, we need to put somebody there, but I guess we'll wait on that too. Let's go ahead and give these guys these positions so they like us more. 
Who is this guy? He's master of laws. He's master at arms, so we put him. Cupbearer, whoever likes me more. All right, King to Justice. I guess we'll wait with that too. Commanders, that guy's not that bad. He sucks. He sucks. Everybody sucks. All right. Um, search realm. I'll search all. My religion, join court. Nice. At least we have some that'll come without having to pay for them. Oh, we got an Arthur Dane. Make the long trip from Dorne. <laughs> uh, I don't think we'll be able to use that dark one. We can use him though. And then that dude. Alright, there we go. I'll take care of Commander Spots. Alright. Uh, what is this? Set Crown Focus and Barrowton, of course. Alright. So I think, uh, ambition wise, I think we should go for expand realm by conquest. We could probably take the neck out. As long as they don't uh, get any kind of alliances. I don't think anybody in the North is going to want to marry each other. Just because of the fact that political concerns for the time being. Uh, definitely not obtain it. I would like to obtain a Balearian Steel Sword at some point. Um, come exalt. Yeah, I think we'll just do Rome by Conquest. And that way we can do a uh, council thing we get enough money. Called Grand Invasion, and it just gives us a Cassus Belly to take any uh, kingdom. Right now, though, we should have uh, our Master of Laws fabricating claim. It does have a really good claim fabrication chance. So let's look and see. Um, I kind of want to take the neck all. Well, you know what? Yeah, I kind of want to take the neck all as one kingdom, but I think I might say that Invasion Cassus Belly for the Rills, because it gives us. For one, it gives us Curse Line. Even though we have three here, we could you know start making some uh, ships uh, it has a lot of land um, I, we ain't gonna be able to punch with the win uh, with Winterfell or the Dreadfort right now hopefully they don't try to attack us I know Whitford is part of uh, White Harbor so they can't make White Harbor uh, High Lordship because they only have two of the four so we shouldn't really worry about them coming at us for that right now um, so we should be okay I think I might put the guy Let's see, which one's better? I, I'll probably put him trying to claim on Mount Kalen because that's where his stronghold is. It might be able to get the high lordship of the neck. That'd be great. I don't know. Is that even... I don't think that's part of it, though. We still could get it because that's his main holding. I think it still will come with that. Um, yeah, let's put him fabricate claim on Mount Kalen. It'd be good to have Mount Kalen on its own because it has almost... It has a 10 fort level, so... It'd be a really good, uh defense thing from anybody coming from either the neck or let me see uh the entry tab i don't have anything we can do right now so we'll just go ahead and um oh shit too high coming on four see what happens here um accept your betrothal we could get him right now because he is in winterfell like i said we're not gonna mess with them for the time being he will say yeah I don't think he should have problems outside of his own realm, so I think we'll go with him. It's extra 500 men if needed. Uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, so Malister say okay. How about you guys? Oof. 29. We can't do it right now, but it gives us 50, so it'll bring it up to 49. It might be enough. He only dislikes us by four points, so if we can get, I don't know, we'll get five just off that 50, though, to be honest. Um, there goes one of our commanders, another one. Alright. Yeah, we can't really get a war against anybody right off the start, because we don't have really any Cass's Belly to do it. We need to, uh, hopefully get that claim on Moot Kalen. I'll take it by itself too. If I only get the Moot Kalen, I'm not going to try to just get the uh, High Lordship. Alright, we'll put you there. Um, you're 14, so we might keep you. 16. What's the other guy? 11. Uh, let's keep you there. 14. He's actually pretty good co uh, personal combat skill. Let's see, let's take you out. For him, and we'll keep the other guy for now. 
Hold on, what was the other, uh... He's actually a brilliant commander. That's the guy I just put in. Then there's Florian and Royce. So if I had to take out one, I'll take out Quincy. Since he doesn't have a, uh, commander trait anyways. King's Justice. We'll give it to Olador. <laughs> uh, Captain Household Guard. Hector. Arthur. I think we'll give it to Arthur. And then we'll put the bodyguards of our skilled fighters. Mmm. Yoko. Where's the other guy? Arthur. Let me see the combat skill. 65, 70, 60, 80. So you can go um, 40, 50, 60, 70. All right, so put you there. That's fine for now. All right, that's good. Let's go ahead and unpause. Hopefully, <clears throat> he gets this uh, claim sometime soon. Terrain is the key to winning battles. If I focus my studies, I believe I can master tactics of one type of terrain. So the main terrain here is going to be like hills and forest. Where we're at is mostly going to be plains, plains and marsh. It says terrain neck causeway. Um, I guess where's plains? Plains farmland step. This one is going to be forest and hills. When we start going to war up here, it's all mountains and hills. A lot of plains though, so this will just go flat terrain for now. Too bad we can't get winter on. I think because we're first men, we get a uh, severe winter. Yeah, resistant to severe winter. It sucks that we get backward cultures, so I think we get one uh, fort level taken away. Yeah, Barrowton, backward culture, get you minus one fort level. Alright, my Barrow King, Edric. Uh, Sandstone is under attack from the tor- What is this? I hate this part of these other bookmarks. This shit does this all the time. Like, why would I come help you? You're, you're going to war against another first man guy, so no. Yeah, we have the whole Barrow King title too, which is pretty cool, so we're gonna hopefully take over the north. Um, no. I wish you could turn this off. See, all these kings are trying to take the land. See, I think some of this land... This is vacillation land. I thought you had to have uh, a certain amount of prestige to even do those wars. Let me see. They're all one, uh, that's why, because they're only one thing. I don't think we can do any of these guys because we don't uh, border them. I can see the Neck doing this, or like the Wolfswood trying to take these over. That's the only good thing about bordering these guys. I thought about doing Umber too because they get a decent amount of men. No. <laughs> that's going to pop up a hundred times a damn episode, I guarantee it. Alright, what do we need for this? We need Presti... Ooh, 26 gold, that's not bad. Then we get the Lordship of Moat Kaelin. Let me see what comes with it. Uh, Drunkard's Tower and Gatehouse Tower. They both have almost a thousand men each. After most his men come. He just went up like a thousand men. How did he do that? Huh. He's almost got as much men as I do now. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll definitely take it. So, we can go to war right now against them. Uh, we could have Woodswood, Wolfswood help us. I don't know. We shouldn't probably try to get those, uh, get that alliance with uh, Malister right now due to the fact that it'll cost us 50 gold. I don't think we'd even... Oh, it's 28. That's right. Uh, I mean, for 50 uh, positive in opinions. I don't think it'll even be enough. We could start to sway him, so we'll do that right now. Because that won't cost us anything. Um, so let's go ahead. I think we're just going to call in uh, Woods over here. The Wolfswood. That'll give us extra like 500 men. Uh, we have 275 to his 247. We just need to make sure. I think we should be okay. I'm going to try to get as much land as possible in the beginning. Before they start getting alliances and all that jazz. 
and that'll give us, you know, from one coast to the other pretty much, and we'll have the neck here, the little causeway. We should be alright. With his men on top of it, if they actually attach to us, and not be stupid. We could get him as 500 more men, because I have the uh, levy being reinforced. We have no heavy cab, though. Alright, let me see. Um, We have done for it, too. That one's full. Alright. Let's just raise what we got. See, that right there costs all our money. We're even going to lose money. We'll make money as we siege down stuff, but it's not going to be a lot. We'll get everybody together there. Uh, Come on and raise your men. Please don't try to attack them. I got how many is right here? Alright, I got 1,300 coming there, so he shouldn't go after them. Uh, no. Oh, who are you going after? Oh, he's taking over Skagger, so it's pretty smart. Yeah, so there's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, opportunity to take over things. Like, if somebody breaks away over here, it'd be great. It ain't took him forever to honor that. Alright, um, our main force is here, so we'll have him connect. Hopefully he connects. We're gonna put us on the main one. Wait for everybody else to get to here. Come on, make yourself useful. Oh man, what is Winterfell doing? Uh, they're trying to vassalize Shadowmoor. What? Oh, because they have North Road touching it, so I guess they can do it. They're gonna have land all over the place. Alright. Reports of Barrington and charity work is behalf is proceeding well. Good. Alright. Since I arrived, the Baritone has never been as short as the soldiers, reinforcing the troops stationed there. Under our guidance, they believe fame and fortune awaits them. So, we got, nice, plus 50%. I love your reinforcement rate for not even a year. So, I probably won't get anything out of it. Yeah, so we're going to get these all in the beginning, like, a lot. Because they're going to be vassalizing all these, uh, single lords. That's the only thing that sucks being where we're at. We're, like, sandwiched around a bunch of kingdoms. Where I thought about doing the muds. Because that would be good. Having, uh, well, he just took them over. That was quick. Uh, being able to take uh, a lot of these smaller people out, like, really fast. And then, like, building up from there. But I wanted to start off, you know, not just being able to gobble everybody up at once. So, why are you in the middle? We want to have the middle. And then we will put Hector and Arthur. As soon as they get over here. Why are you going to Barrowton? <laughs> Alright, Bear King, but no. Oh my god. No. Is that the Stark? Yeah. Alright, let's put these guys together. We're just gonna head over there. Hopefully he... Uh, I hate when they keep switching them out. I mean, he is a little better, but... We have... He has more modifiers, I guess. Uh, we're a flanker. So I guess it's... Probably better we're on the outside. I didn't see that at first. Alright, he can just catch up with us. How long is it gonna take us to get there? We'll be fine, alright. I guess he's got... How much are we going to beat him by? Man! Alright, no. <laughs> he's probably got men coming, yeah. I'm surprised he didn't come have him come help, but I guess because they didn't pull morale. Alright, things are going well when suddenly I hear an embarrassed huff from nearby. Spinning my sword ready, I see the enemy commander Torgan awkwardly attempting to climb a large rock I think he is trying to escape the battle my lord the shoulder the soldier next to me muses um we can try to uh is this the guy minus a hundred he must have just got injured all right yeah we'll just kill him uh let's see do we have speed or strength or anything no we'll just go with speed strike uh, it says, Commander Torgan tries to fight back, but I force my way through and move to a, to savagely with one perfect blow crush his head in. <laughs> Finally, I throw my morning star into his stomach. The man falls, his gut spilling onto the ground. He does not rise again. Die. Alright, so we've got our first person on our kill list. <laughs> Alright, uh, you wipe his blood from your 
complaints, miss. The deed is done, he is dead, Valorables. Uh He falls before you, soldiers look on and begin to lose hope. You are separated from your men in the chaos of battle and now find yourself in the midst of war. As you scan the field and try to rejoin your forces, you see Donner break through the enemy ranks to charge at you. What? Who's this guy? Get back, my king. I'll handle this. <laughs> Quincy. Ah, he's our bodyguard. That's why. He has the same dual skill we have. Um... Don't react. I guess we, uh... I guess we'll let him handle it. Alright, your acquaintance commander Torgan of Gaius Towers returned to battle commo uh, Moat Kalen alive, but has suffered a very gruesome... No, he didn't. I killed him. <laughs> Alright. No, we're not getting involved. Uh... Let's see, how are we going here? Oh, we wiped them out. They didn't have any good commanders, really. That guy's not bad. Strict exercise regiment that you committed to after your decision to become a legendary warrior has made you one of the toughest persons around. So we get extra plus two health for five years and plus ten combat skill. So that's good. But, uh... Well, we didn't really lose much morale, so we'll go take them out first. Let's see, what time do we get there? Oh yeah, we'll be able to catch those guys. Here comes Woods. He probably won't even get here by the time we're done. He can, you know what? How many men do you have here? Four. Alright, I'll have him start sieging that, hopefully. Hopefully he'll listen. And then we'll come back up and join him. Master of Coin, Lord Garth, has some interesting ideas on how to improve the economy. Uh, it's only five gold. Yeah, we're losing point three three. That one wasn't as close. Let's go back to Mo Kalen so we can take that. At least get the ticking war score. Uh no. Yeah, a lot of these guys are gonna get gobbled up here shortly. Perhaps it is time I ask Lord Illifer to spend some time with me. It's probably the fastest way to gain his trust. This is Seaguard. What are you trying to do? Uh old stones. Ooh, all those people ganged up. Where's Canet? That's right here. There's a lot of people helping him though. Glitterdale, Windhall, The Rock, Golden Tooth, The Rock. Ooh, he has two kings against him. Wow. Wonder why they stood up against him like that. <laughs> Same thing here, Acorn Ridge. Man, that's a lot of people. See, I guess that's the risk you take with that. He's got so many kings helping that guy. No chance of winning that one. Alright. Yeah, we'll ask him. Hopefully we'll get him uh, to like us and get a alliance. So when we need to go against the big dogs. Um, who are you? Darkland? Yeah, we'll find somebody nice here shortly. Alright, let's go ahead and siege this down. I believe one of your vast can be scourged from associating with spiritual factions. He's alright for now. Um, Illifer was happy to oblige me. Now that I have some time to spend with him, I am confident that I can convince him how alike we are and that he stands only to gain from our friendship. That didn't do anything, but... <laughs> Alright, I think these days really helped me getting Illifer to know and appreciate me better. We've spent most of our time visiting my dimension and discussing the most disparate topics. Uh, nice, so we get plus 20. So that was like half of what we would have got. Let's see how much, uh, it's even close. Nice! Good. And he's under mud already. They don't seem to hate him, so I don't see any problems happening with him. That's an extra almost 3,000 men. So, we siege this down, we'll be done. Uh, history is a subject that always fascinated you. You have spent the last few weeks studying the campaigns of Valyrian Freehold. There are many lessons to be learned from their conquest against the uh, old Giscari Empire. Well, it's not old in this time period, but we'll take it. All right, we're going to end this here. It's already been a half hour. Nice. We're not going to call him in because we don't need to. Um, it'll just bring down the uh, opinion anyways. So by the time he even got up here, it's be over. So we'll just stop here, um, and then we'll finish up next time. So until then... Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.